Mark, now you head up the Toolscope product for Comet. Could you tell me what Toolscope is? Uh, Toolscope is an assistance system for manufacturing. Um, so it enables you to um, detect tool breakage at your machine, uh, to optimize tool usage, and um, most important is uh, to connect your machine to your uh, network and get data out of your machine. So Toolscope is very much monitoring the life of the tool as well as making sure that there's no breakages effectively. Uh, yeah, you're correct. So it's all about optimizing your tool lifetime, um, directly detecting tool breakage, uh, so you don't keep on producing hours and hours with missing features, and therefore reducing scrap parts and all the rework. So it's all about uh, improving productivity at your machine and making sure you can save a lot of money while manufacturing. Now, I know that Comet are big on Industry 4. I presume that embraces Industry 4 quite well with Toolscope. Yes, so our Toolscope solution is a way of first step into Industry 4.0. Uh, it enables you to connect your machine with your operator to your company network. Um, you can uh, download all the data from the Toolscope, push it directly to your company service, and th therefore you can evaluate, for example, tooling costs, uh, you can evaluate all your processes, and therefore, of course, save money and have a re very transparent uh, process. And do you think with the types of industries that you put Toolscope into, can it be any type of sector? Um, that depends always on the machine tool and on the application. Uh, of course, Toolscope is great for mass series production. Uh, you can run, for example, a complete line lights out with the Toolscope, making sure um, that all the um, features are in the product uh, and completely replace, for example, quality checks. Um, otherwise, in low production, for example, you can train the tool scope, uh, for example, with the adaptive feed control feature uh, to have a tool with a certain torque and then optimize it completely um, to make sure you save cycle time, although you're only producing one or two pieces at a time. And how many systems do you have worldwide? Um, at the moment, between six and 700 machines are up and running. What type of sectors does Toolscope serve? Uh, Toolscope serves almost every kind of sector, so automotive, aerospace, power and gas, oil. Um, mainly, it's uh, dependent on the real needs of the customer. So uh, Toolscope can monitor, for example, single uh, lot production at aerospace companies, but at the same time also monitor mass series production at automotive uh, companies. So it always depends on the customer what he wants to do with it. Uh, that's why we build it up modular, so the customer really can decide what kind of features he wants, and then uh, he just pays for those and selects them. Um, so, for example, on uh, aerospace, um, they need to monitor almost everything in the machine. If it's not only torque, but coolant flow, coolant pressure, hydro hydraulics, or the axis movements. In automotive, for example, they want to uh, monitor only one part that has been produced a million times. Uh, in that case, you can have that machine running with the tool scope on, uh, machine lights out, and or have one operator standing there and taking uh, care of 10 machines. So that really improves also your manufacturing. So from the UK's perspective, Mark, what you're actually saying is that it doesn't really matter if you're producing one component or thousands. Um, yeah, that's correct. So it, it's always dependent really on the needs. If you're producing, for example, one part, you're milling heavily, uh, you really want to use these adaptive feed control features just to save, for example, 15% of cycle time. If you use it daily, your savings will be tremendous. So from a UK perspective, engineers should be looking at this product to, to effectively save them time versus money. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, on the engineering side, I think it's very interesting uh, to have a very transparent process. So normally you program the tool, you run it, 
you might hear it and you're not really sure if it's running perfect. Uh, with the tool scope, it gives you data. Um, you can do changes in the NC program. You run it again. You can directly compare it within Excel, for example. You lay two graphs, you can compare it. Mark, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.